Jaguar in the cotton field. One month after my mother's mother was raped with a knife, she crawled into the coffin that was her kitchen, drenched herself in kerosene, and lit her flesh on fire. Like the man in the park where the saguaros grow, the flames made my grandmother pray for death, but death was the jaguar in the cotton field that fate forbade her from catching. Fate eventually exercised mercy when she died in the hospital one week later with the spotted pelt in her hands at last. Though I never knew her, I visit her grave every Sunday to pay homage to a woman's pain, to the ever-shrinking smallness she felt in the world, to the smallness I myself know.